Hello everybody, Rock with your money here, and today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of my very first short film, as requested by many of you. I will be going in depth on both the filming and editing techniques I used in the film, and be showing you the final cut of the film, and I will be, you know, just going into detail. And uh, you know what? Let's just get into it without any further ado. Okay, so before we get into the rest of this, if you really enjoyed the short film and you want to continue enjoying it, I wouldn't watch this because I'm going to point out some details that are so minor that just really poke out to me that I don't like about it. And I mean, obviously I've sat and edited this film and worked with it for the past three months. So I see all of the mistakes, all the details that should be in there that aren't in there. Now, I mean, I would appreciate it if you watch the rest of this video, but you don't have to. I mean, if you want to enjoy the film as it is, I mean, you probably don't have to watch it over and over again. I really do appreciate all the support it's been given. And um, although it is my first short film, I feel like I did a pretty decent job, and it's a great starting point for more films in the future. So, um, if you're new here, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, because currently the amount of you that watch my videos that are not subscribed, compared to the amount that watch it that are subscribed, is pretty substantial. And we can change that pretty easily, so, you know, just drop a like and subscribe, it's free. And, um, you know, let's get on with the video. So... So this is basically, let me just go out here and zoom out. This is the entire timeline. We got a bunch of, we got eight video tracks, actually 17 video tracks. Holy cow, why is there? Oh, uh, that was for a VFX shot. Um, don't ask why. <laughs> okay, so we have seven video tracks in use. A little excessive, I know. But um, this is the whole thing. So up on the top section, we have the video clips. And on the bottom section, we have the sound design and music. We'll see how it plays back, especially with the screen recording going, but, yeah. So, this part was out of focus, and that kind of bothered me, but, you know, it's only for like a split second, so. And obviously the ringtone is fake. Ringtone's fake. But I thought it'd be funny because <laughs> we like to play that song. I don't know why we do. It's so low. The sun is setting. And for the phone to make the audio sound like it's in a phone call, I just um, you know added some effects like a distortion effect and then just boosted the distortion. So yeah. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Just gotta get one more photo. And it always gives me this error right here. It says missing lookup table, but it wasn't a problem when I actually went to render it. Now this shot, I really liked this shot. Um, the color grade, I feel like I might've pushed the colors a bit too far, but I really, the sound design, just the, the lens flare and then like the flickering of the lights and the tree house coming into view. I really like this shot. And that little, so someone asked what transition I use there. It's the, um, it's the, Oh, whoops. Oh dear, I'm all the way zoomed in, okay. It's the additive dissolve. Um, you can get it in the trend video transitions right over here. And this is a drone shot that got extremely compressed. I, I don't even know why. It just compressed to oblivion. So that's Tristan there running. Now, I'm, the drone shots are always laggy because it's a lot of data in them. This was at the treehouse looking up from the bottom deck. There's like two, two levels to it. Now this shot, this shot looks fine in the film. I, I do feel like it's a little too dark for this part of the video. I should have not lowered the shadows. I thought it looked good at the time, but it got dis absolutely destroyed on YouTube. So, yeah. I uploaded it in 4K to get less compression, but that didn't really help that much. Now the sound design was pretty good, I'd say, but that 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 audio was from the original clip. Oh, the camera moved. Go back a few frames, you can see when he gets up, it like jolts the camera. I never noticed that. Oh, you're fine. Now the color didn't line up for that shot. But Finally here. That's yeah, such yeah let me a get my camera detail. out real quick. I want to have some good photos before the sun sets because I don't want to go to school tomorrow without good photos. 
We actually no filmed school. this specific shot like 50 times. Why? It's a teacher work thing. Really? Yep. And he wasn't, he was filming me. I had him place in that audio afterwards. Oh, well, then we should go hiking. Let's get to work. Totally. The dialogue in the beginning was okay. <laughs> I wanted to focus on more, you know, cinematic than story, but in the future, you know, I can put in more story elements. Just trying out some things, you know. I'll see you tomorrow at the trail, right? Yep. I did not like All this. Alright, cool. See this yep. part was... Yep. Why, why did I... Why? <laughs> and you could hear the autofocus noises of my camera. I don't know why I saluted those, so weird. So that phone call, I I had to re-edit this whole part last minute because the original dialogue we yeah I'm here. You know, I'll just say it goes through. Luckily okay. it fit. What I, the changes yeah, I made fit well. Um, but the original before I edited it to be the final cut was we were supposed to run into our friend Nicholas out of nowhere. Like he was just spontaneously going to appear into the film. Like oh my gosh, is that Nick? And it was, it, it, it was in the film, but I, I, I just replaced the audio, I'm like, oh, there he is. And then I made it before saying, oh yeah, our friend Nick is already here, but he's further down the trail. That's pretty much it. And now this shot, this shot got compressed into oblivion. I don't know if any of you saw the March montage. This was in the March montage at the very end. I had to make the, make the clip fade into black and white because I couldn't color grade it. It was so compressed, even out of the Evo. Like it didn't, like you can see here, it's super compressed. And pushing the colors too far in this clip ruined that bench. And fun, fun story. I was, I'm actually standing right here. You see that weird blob? That's After Effects. I put this clip through After Effects and had it use um, Content Aware Fill to cut me out of the shot because you can see me picking behind the tree because I'm flying it backwards through branches, which was pretty sketchy. So, but it's super laggy. Yeah, it's like going two frames, six point seven frames per second. Now zero. Now the sound design here, I accidentally made it keep going as if you were walking on wood, but whatever. Ready to get some good shots? Yep. I like this shot. This shot was good. And then this awesome max transition. I mean, it was, it was, you can literally see it was a little rough around the edges, but like, that's not this shape of the tree, but close enough. It happens fast enough that you don't really notice. That one was pretty seamless, but the next masking transition, that part's good, but then I, I keep, it, I forgot to add motion blur because I keyframed the rest over and you just see it's moving over with no motion blur. And that's Tristan's camera actually for that shot because we were filming on my camera. And we replaced the audio there. It's like, is that Nick? And he's just walking there. And there's supposed to be another who turns around and he's like, Rocco? Is, like, why? Why would I even, for the original, I, I had to change that. This is why you must have other people review your writing before you actually release the film. Anyway, so this shot right here, this is not the original shot. The original shot, we had a fourth person with us that day who was helping us film. And we were walk the order that we were walking was completely different. So I, since it was a static shot, I cut us all out and animated us. So like when we walk through, it looks like we all walking at the same time, but we're not walking at the same time. I'll have the original clip up on the screen. But that's why it's super laggy, because this is layered like 50 times. Nice little cinematic shot of Nick and Tristan taking some photos. I like this shot a lot. Something about that depth of field. I really like depth of field. Like, nice and shallow. And there, I, I lowered the highlights too much. You could literally see those clipping. Or I mean, like the muted highlights. This that transition was pretty good, I'd say. Obviously, the lightning's fake. That's like a I used raise the sh the shadows or whatever. Raise the whole image brightness. This time lapse is completely like. The sky, I replaced the sky, I cut out the sky, and put in like the moving time of the sky, like changing colors. Then I added rain um, via green screen, and then I added like the lens water droplets as well. The shot was super laggy, which you can see that there is like 
a bunch of layers here. So. Now, unfortunately, in the film, the audio here was really quiet. I don't know why it was. It sounds fine in my headphones. And yeah, that's that's my backyard. We we're, we're, do, we're taking out our bottom part of the deck and putting in a patio, and it was pouring rain, and it's like water damage galore. Ugh. This quarantine sucks, man. It's now for that like lightning, for that lightning effect. I just added a, sucks, man. a brightness effect to make it like some like light is going off in the distance. Now the discrepancy of the audio like being continuous between these clips was an issue. It would be like suddenly like whoop. Spike and then like you know the audio just doesn't sound continuous. I mean it is continuous, but I didn't blend it together enough. And then the color temperature for that clip was completely off. Like, so what have you been like doing while we're? You get to see my color. Oh, there's the spark, spark charging thing. Oh, Michael's shot was so noisy. Like look at look at all this like jumping green. It's just like. That's crop sensor cameras for you. Oh man. I told him to shoot like a quarter of a stop under exposed, and he shoots a whole stop and a half under exposed. That and growing a beard, long hair. Well, I mean, since I don't really have much else to do. Yeah, that weird clipping sound. Me? Like I've been actually getting back into piano, and it's, I don't know about that. it's really good. I really like this one song. I just The melody's been stuck in my head. Now, this, the, that audio isn't me actually playing the piano, the audio from me playing the piano was horrible because I, there's background noise and I can't like put, it's not like an actual piano, I have a keyboard, so I had to use different audio. More like, what did we do? Me, you, Tristan, and Nicholas. But I can play the song, like I can actually play the song, if you, if you ask me to go over there, play a moment apart, yeah, okay, I'll do it, blah 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 blah. And this was... That was, I like that. That's Michael, if you didn't notice. That was his GoPro shot, and then it comes to me. And I don't have my license on my permit, though, so I can technically drive, but I have to have an adult suit. Okay, so, looks like I completely overlooked the, um... The license plate shot, where um, I completely replaced the license plate of my car. Um, I made it, instead of having my original license plate, I made it say sub please. I don't know if any of you noticed that, but that shot was 17 tracks layered on top of each other because I had to. I basically rearranged the license plate so it would be covering up itself. I could have probably just overlaid another license plate, but I didn't think of that in the moment. So, and it, would, it looked better to have the actual assets from the video and put, replace them so that's what I did for that and um, yeah I don't know if any of you noticed that I mean a few a few people noticed that but yeah so, <laughs> brilliant license plate idea guys just put that on your car and everyone will subscribe to you provides me so for those of you that were immensely concerned that I was driving a car um I wasn't in fact pretty much the rest of the shots after these we didn't film they were not filmed for the short film. These, this clip right here is stock footage. And what I did was, since, you know, quarantine, all this garbage going on right now in the world, we weren't able to finish the short film. This, this last part wasn't supposed to be a dream sequence. We were supposed to actually go out and do this. We were actually supposed to go out and go to a, a, a mountain in West Virginia and film the ending with the sunset and the drone and whatnot, but that didn't happen. So... You can see how badly I did it, but I comp composited the Jeep in here. For, at first glance, you don't notice it. I tried my best to make it look out, like it's out of focus. And I put Michael's Jeep in there too, but the lighting does not align. VFX is not easy. And these are like... You, you, you won't notice the first time, but like the second time, you'll notice. 
Uh, this shot was also stock footage of Harper's Ferry, not actually too far away from where I live. Um, I don't think you can fly in that part of Harper's Ferry, but if you take off from a special part, you can, so this footage is fine. Um, also, I got all my uh, stock footage from Storyblocks. I'm not sponsored, but that's where I got them from. Um, but Storyblocks, if for some reason you're watching this, I wouldn't mind being sponsored, you know? I, I need some money so I can buy a, a new camera. <laughs> and as I say that, my camera starts to um, upgrade itself so it doesn't get replaced. Stock footage. Added, I, I sped it up though and added some uh, a zoom blur. You can see that there. It was a little too much, but whatever. Now, the audio blending was pretty bad. This, I actually filmed this clip. I filmed this clip in uh, the woods uh, at the hiking place. This was also filmed there. This was also filmed there. This is Michael running. This shot was... He, Michael wanted me to put it in. I didn't want to put it in, but... Since he worked hard and ran around his house with a GoPro and a bag strapped to him and got all sweaty, I decided to put it in. Even though you can't really see what's going on. I mean, you can. He's running, but... And this shot... This is from 2018. I was in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Uh, one of my viewers, Palmetto Moon, knows who this is. He lives like, I think he lives like 30 minutes away from where I was. I was pretty much near Pigeon Forge. And yeah, this is from my spark. This is old footage. <laughs> and it fits pretty much perfectly. Now this is stock footage. Lens flare is tracked and you can kind of see that. I mean, I tried my best. That's not me. That's some random dude in the stock footage. It fit. It was fine. You can see it is sped up a little bit. You can see him like going, like moving around fast. This is another spark shot from uh, Tennessee. Another stock footage clip from the same location as earlier. It's all the most beautiful. Fun stuff. I don't know what it is with people when it's like going, oh. <laughs> like why? <laughs> but it, it fit. It's fine. Man, it, was, it was really something. And then this last shot, I told all my friends, send me a full body picture of yourself in a silhouette. And then, <laughs> look how many layers there are. I had to do the lens flare, add in my friends, composite them in. This guy right here, he's the only one that's actually in there. Now, that's Michael, and that's Nicholas, and this is Tristan. I, that, I'm just pretending that that is me. This is the only, this guy right there is the only guy that's actually in the stock footage clip. The sky is replaced, and, um, like, that's a totally different sky than it was. Um, but yeah, and I, you can kind of see, if you zoom in here, you see that they're, like, not actually there. Or on YouTube, the compression made it look like they kind of were. Now, the keyframing is a little messed up, and they're not positioned correctly, but... Most people probably don't look at them for very long, like you don't just, it's like a, it's a, what, a seven second clip and you don't really stare at them, you just look at the, the sun. So I mean it's fine, it's for what it is, but it could be a lot better. And it's playing two frames per second right now, it's super laggy. I was pretty much editing this blind, so any key issues with the keyframing, what, what was I supposed to do? I can't see what's going on at two frames per second. And it's, what the heck, okay. When this is over, we should do it for real. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and that leaves something to be established for the next film, but yeah. And then we have the post credit scene where I'm coding that thing, and I'm on the phone call with Michael, and he's rambling about the Canon EOS R5. Whatever. Um, but the, the thing I was coding, I didn't actually code it, it's a thing I'm doing with After Effects, where I, like, make, I take an... I basically take a, one of those like audio visualizers and get like one of those robot voices. It's the, the it's the thing that you saw in the um the the April montage where it's like you you screwed up your footage, Rock. I'm gonna fix it for you, and then YouTube's gonna screw it up again. And the thing at the beginning of the May montage where it's like, all right, initiating startup. That that's Ed. That's my um digital assistant named my Michael. Let's but, yeah. go with something generic. But also good. Like, Ed. how about Ed? Ed? Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's my breakdown of the film. I mean, I feel like it's okay. 
as for a starting for my very first film I, it's hard to do better especially with the circumstances I was giving I have an older camera I have had like no actors we had zero budget at all um, so a lot of this was improvised but I feel like we did tell a decent story for what we were given and I hope that you all enjoyed it if you did you know maybe share it with your friends trying to get it to a thousand views maybe that's possible I would love to see it get there um, but the next short film is already in development and trust me it'll be a lot better we won't have to use stock footage although story blocks does have good stock footage um, I don't want to use it like I would like to actually go out and film but for other things you know throwing some stock footage here and there is good but for this channel you know I'd like to actually film everything I do you know so I don't know and yeah the next short film gonna be pretty cool hopefully I'm it's in development um, but yeah I won't give away any anything yet but stay subscribe so you can get some updates on that stuff yeah anyways Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'm um, sorry if it was a little long, um, and I was a bit nitpicky. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Drop a like and subscribe. All right, see you all.